What's going on? What's up? How are you? Long time no see. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing I'm good. doing great. We're catching you in the work environment. We're catching you in the work good. environment. Uh, yeah, yeah. So as you know, we've had thousands of hockey players yeah. who have played in the city of Toledo. Yeah, yeah. Thousands. But only a select few are considered great. Those people who are great go into the Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame. And we're very pleased and excited to congratulate you. You, Jeff Lerger, the newest member of the Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame. Congratulations, awesome. so congratulations. Yeah. Well, you know, Toledo is a special place in my heart. Uh, three awesome years. I uh, love the city, we embraced it. My daughter and my wife got to see my last game with the whole family, so that's my special place. I still have my final uh, leaving at the rink, photo in my basement, so special place. I appreciate it. Couldn't be more honored. Thank you. Bottom line is this. Jeff Lurg is a winner. Jeff won the national championship in 2007 with Michigan State University. He was an absolute stud in the postseason. He recorded a goals against average, a minuscule 1.25 with a save percentage of 954 in the tournament. Those are unheard of numbers for a netminder. He turned pro as part of the New Jersey Devils organization in Trenton, then went to play overseas. He came to Toledo as the very first signee of new head coach Derek Lalonde. Uh, he was the first player I signed and I wanted him because he is a very good goaltender, but who he was as a competitor, uh, I thought he could turn things around there. I thought he could drive us a more story. Uh, never in my wildest dreams would I imagine how well it turned out. Jeff wasn't big. He was five foot six, maybe 163 pounds, maybe five foot six, but he was one of the most acrobatic goaltenders you'd ever want to watch. He played with a chip on his shoulder too. Because he was so small, he always continually had to prove himself. But I also think that was something that drove Jeff Flirk to his success throughout his career. Jeff came to Toledo in 2014-15. He helped backstop the greatest turnaround in ECHL history. He finished that season first in the league and wins with 32. He had a goals against average of 2.37 and a 920 save percentage. That season, the Walleye went all the way to the conference finals after winning the Brabham Cup with the best regular season record in the ECHL. Every one of the postseason series went seven games. In 2015-16, Jeff returned. He finished first in the ECHL in wins with 28. He had a goals against average even better, 2.17, and a save percentage of .925. He was a second team ECHL All-Star in 15 and 16. He finished his walleye career, two full seasons and parts of two others, with a record of 63, 22, and six, and a minuscule goals against average of 2.37. Jeff Lurg is known for many things. One of his most famous, the number one play of the day on ESPN. Look out the other way, two on one, Prochno's back, Mears in front, oh, wow. Jeff Lurg! One of the best saves you will ever see keeps this game alive. That save on February 14th of 2016, the two-on-one breakaway against Fort Wayne, created a buzz throughout the hockey world. This is why you have Hall of Fames and a true Hall of Famer. This is a guy that came in, um, took an organization uh, that was on the low, and it took it right to the top and hasn't looked back since. So, Jeff, this is well-deserving. Uh, I wish I could be there. Uh, you meant a lot to me in my time in Toledo, and congratulations.